welcome to Monster Hunter World, the best game ever. The controls are weird, and where frames can be less than average, yes, but if you can't pass all these bugs, this game can be a hell of a lot of fun. But since I was waiting so long for this game to come out even, this is my first reaction to even opening the game. Oh my god. Oh my god. The policy can be suck your dick and how to do it. It's beautiful. So yeah, I had to create my character first, and I tried making it after Hanzo, and yeah, basically, uh, I tried to be, <laughs> you know, oh, that's, I didn't even see that, you know what, that's the first time I, I even named my, uh, cat after the freaking Shimada Dragon, <laughs> but yeah, the customization was pretty good, you could even do their voices, and it's just a bunch of Japanese guys moaning, basically. <laughs> And then the tutorial started basically, which was really, just, it felt super newbie-ish, but I understand because it's for a newer audience, and the game is definitely hard to win. Oh yeah, oh yeah, eat her, please, do it quick. No, 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 don't warn her, don't warn yourself, don't warn her, kill her now. No, 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 yeah, go for it, yeah, hey, how are you not dead, how are you not dead, hello, hey, chop her up. No, 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 what am I doing? Don't mind me. I gotta say though, this part of the intro was super sick. I love seeing them fight. It looks so cool. Can you get over here? I gotta go now. I'm in the middle of some. I'll message him after this fin they finish this. Just eat that thing whole. Now, now! And after all that intro stuff, uh, I got my first crash, which was my only crash so far in the, uh, I think 21 hours I've played so far. And then I started to play some more, and uh, I was trying to learn the weapons. The controls felt really awkward at first, right, but after like five hours of playing, I got really used to it. But their tutorials are pretty bad, to be honest. They they can like they definitely help, but like they can do way better with them. I, I don't know what to do with this. That this game takes a lot of mastery. And then there's playing with your friends. Now I love playing with my friends, and honestly, there's so much fun in this game. But there's, they have this stupid, retarded system where you have to uh, basically do the mission by yourself. Or you have to like watch the cinematic and then abandon quests immediately, and then your friend has to fire an SOS flare to so you can join them. And then sometimes you're not in the same lobby, and it's just like, oh, it can be so frustrating sometimes. But let's get on with the goods of this game instead of the bads. Even though there's plenty more bads, but there's a lot of goods in this game as well. Oh, look! Oh my God! Sudi, Sudi's coming! Oh my God! But he's so cool! <laughs> Sudi! <laughs> to me. Oh shit. No way. It's the black horns. Those were the black horns we've been it's finding. The one for. shot move! Godzilla, no! Come on, Sudi, you noob. Sudi, you couldn't even kill the Elder Dragon? No. Bad player. <laughs> hey guys, we got him! Yeah! Are you okay? Sudi! Get off Sudi! <laughs> Sudi, you're not even fighting teeth! Sudi is getting too old for this, clearly. Hey, listen, listen, you know, you, know, you, you got away. We'll just track him down and get him while he's sleeping.
So, my first positive is friends. This game is a great game to play with friends. The only thing is, Monster Hunter encourages it, but the thing is, it's a little bit dumb, as I mentioned earlier with the story missions. So yeah, but you can still definitely play with friends and it's very fun. The second positive is just learning how the weapon works. To be honest, it's pretty advanced how their weapon system works. It can be very rewarding to master the weapon and just do all these cool flips and stuff. And it's really cool. And the third positive, simply, is the soundtrack of Monster Hunter World. It really knows how to make you feel during certain moments, whether it's watching the scenery, or being in the middle of a battle, or when danger is coming, or when suspense is coming. I'll just let it speak for itself. Pretty good, eh? My fourth positive is grinding is fun in this game. Like, it's usually in any other game, grinding is usually not that fun, but grinding is really fun in this game. I've beaten this same Anjanath like 20 times over, and I'm still having so much fun killing him every single time. <laughs> and even though I beat this guy up 20 times, I still need a lot of his parts. So that's why I might look like half Anjanath on me and like half someone else. And also, in this game, you're gonna get stuck on a monster. And when you finally beat that monster, you're gonna feel so great after being beaten up by it so many times. It's like beating up your bully. But anyway, that's my experience so far in Monster Hunter World. Definitely great game. I would buy this two times over if I had to. I love it to pieces. And there's gonna be a part two to this since this is about maybe a quarter of the game. So there's gonna be maybe one or two more videos of this. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy, have a great day, and see you.